Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. And now, it's time to get some more moons in the Snow Kingdom mix. <laughs> I completely missed that one. Somehow. Let's try that again. Oh, that actually made it slightly easier, if I can actually grab it, please. There we go. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that, but anyway. We have quite a fair bit to do in this kingdom still, so let's... See if I can get all that done. Um, starting off, let's grab a cheap cheap because that's gonna make a lot of this fairly easy. Somewhat, probably. At least for the two things that I can think of at the moment. So let's grab this one under the water over here. Ice flow swimming. And there's also another one. Or two, maybe. That we can get by doing a few things. So there's this P-switch here that activates this moon, which we can probably get to with a cheap cheap, maybe. Oh, that was close. Last last second. But anyway, uh, that's not the ones I was trying to. Th that's not the one I thought it was. Uh, but if I can actually get up here with this cheap cheap. Which might require some jumping and also stopping at this water so I don't lose the cheap cheap. But if I can make it all the way up here. Here fishy, over here. Hmm, yes, round belly. The mouth has an intriguing shape. Natural cold sink. Got it. I do believe I have solved this freezing fishy mystery. I met a snow cheap cheap. I guess these are technically different. You have advanced the course of knowledge. So I think that's all of the ones I need to get with the cheap cheap, probably. Except for maybe the... That one there. Possibly. I don't know what it is, but anyway. For now, let's go over here and do this... Uh, Cooper free running. So I believe it's from here to the beginning area thing. So we can take some pretty good shortcuts over there. Hopefully the old shortcuts are actually still there. Looks like it. Just do that, and then up we go. 21 seconds. That's really good. Because I went just straight up instead of going around and then up. I wasn't uh, on a direct course for the peg though. I can probably do better if I actually go in the right direction. Except it's a little bit difficult because it has the intro video and then it's all in the fog, so you don't actually see where you're going. Here we go. Oh, hello. You can see the gold Cooper Trooper doing his own thing. Go up. Um, okay. Fine. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. But I almost got a little bit faster. I mean, if you don't do it right, you'll probably lose that one, but it's still fairly easy. Snow Kingdom Master Cup. And look at all those moons on the side of the screen. Uh, where else do we have to go? That pipe over there is probably a good start. Pretty sure I've done that. Yeah, I have done that. Moon pipe, let's go. Get in the moon pipe, please. Okay, we've got a Capulus section. Which should be fairly easy. Just need to make sure I keep up with the um the vine paths. Just dodge everything. 
which is not so bad so far. Oh, that's uh, the wrong way. I don't know how I'm still alive. Oh my goodness. I keep trying to readjust the camera, but I think I need to let the camera do its own thing a little bit more than I have been allowing it. Okay, this is the last section over here. Have to get out of the way of these bonsai bills. Oh my goodness, how did that not work? That's just a regular jump. Probably. Oh well. And it takes me all the way back to the beginning. Oh my goodness. Seems fairly rude. Just for one mistake. I'll actually try to focus this time. This kind of reminds me a lot of the, um, the carpets on the rainbows in Rainbow Ride. Okay, let's go. Actually try to make these jumps a little bit better. I think I'm going to have to keep diving across between them. Probably the best. It's that or long jumping, and I feel like long jumping is going to have a little bit more trouble with that. But anyway, we've made it to the end here now. As long as we avoid these last ones. Hey, don't leave without me. Okay, Cappy. I won't leave without you. Running the flower road. But if we turn around, there's a, uh, a moon that we passed by. I don't know if you're supposed to get it on the way past, or just go back for it, but I usually just go back for it, so. And we can actually do that now, so. If these bonsai bills will respawn, I think I have to go in front of them, don't I? Yep. Capture it, please. Thank you. Just gonna go straight into that. And then we can probably pick up another bonsai bill here head back to the end. Just like that. Although you can probably, yeah, you can teleport out of here as well. So if you just wanted to get both moons and then leave, you could without having to use the pipe. Now where's this moon over here? It's just at the bottom of this thing, okay. You can either ground pound in this or just spin with a cheap cheap. Oh my goodness, pain. That's fine. Deep in the cold, cold water. Doesn't even matter that I took damage. Ah, uh, we've cleaned up a lot more than I realized. Sometimes it just goes a lot faster than you'd think. Um. Oh, I see. Is it? Okay, it's this, this, this room here, I'm pretty sure. So, Cooper free walking, whatever it is, has an extra moon for each one, trace walking, if we get 90 points on each one. So here we go. Oh, too far. That's fine. I think I'm off center now, which is unfortunate. Uh, close-ish. Probably not enough. No, it was enough. 92 points. Very nice. I knew I wasn't actually in line with the, the snow over here properly. You're supposed to go, like, right here. But I was going more over here. But anyway. Okay, what else do we have here? Just that one there, which is easy enough, and the ones that are underground, which you can't actually see where they are because they're in the underground area in the town. But anyway, let's go up all the way over here because this is why this platform 
goes all the way up here. If I can actually get up the correct way. And uh, it's over here. This glowing spot on top of the ice. It popped out of the ice. So let's head underground and see what there is to do down here. Because I don't really remember. But at the same time, I think I actually do, possibly. So I think there's one right here for talking to Peach. This kingdom is freezing, but at least it's nice and warm indoors. I wonder if the racing warms it up. I wish you could join the races. They look positively thrilling. We found a power moon buried in the snow. It's yours now. Peach in the Snow Kingdom. And I think for the last four moons, it's going to the areas, like these four areas. Actually, there's five left. Well, I know where the other one is as well. But we have to go to these four areas that we went to to open up the things and there's gonna be an extra moon in each one I'm pretty sure yep there it is so let's get through this then there's also a new guy here that we can use that we can do things with so we can skip this entire thing if we wanted to icy jump challenge now is there an easy way back out of here possibly or possibly not well, I guess I can just use this guy all the way back to here again. Okay, that's that one done. Let's head up this way. And I don't know if I remember this one. Actually, maybe? Hang on. I think it's either... Hidden in the snow or at the very top, and I have to do a thing there. Probably just have to go to the, go to the top, if I had to guess. Very nice. Yeah, there's a thing in the ice here. Squirming under ice. Grab that for some coins, I guess. I'm a little bit concerned at how few coins I actually have. I mean, I've got 5,000 coins, but I, I still feel like that's not a lot in the long run. Now, this one in the hollow crevice is this glowing spot over in this water here. So let's grab that. Water pooling in the crevice. Look, coins. I don't think I can grab those with Cappy. When they're under the water and I'm not under the water or in the water. Um. Okay, so the last one. Other than the other one that we have to go find. Which won't take too long, I don't think. Is the Icicle Cavern. And I think for this one we actually need possibly to grab all the Goombas along here. Which there might even be a few more than there were last time. So let's grab this, please. Thank you. Grab these two. Yeah, there's definitely more than there was last time. Just gotta be careful of the falling icicles. Okay, we need 10 Goombas. Oh, get up there, please. I don't know how many Goombas I have, but I've got plenty, probably. I think that's everything. <laughs> oh, and we need the stack to actually reach that moon, probably. Stacked up ice climb. Okay, so that's all of those, and now for the last one, if we talk to this hat person. I've travelled here with a mate of mine, but he wandered off somewhere. He doesn't like the cold, so he's probably huddled up against someone for warmth. 
So, I believe if we go down this way now, we don't actually have to talk to his friend, but we have to find his mate, I, I guess. The, the, the cat we just talked to, we didn't need to talk to, but we need to talk to his friend. So, I believe on the back of this guy is some eyes that look very hat-like, hat-person-like. You found me. I thought I was pretty well hidden. I'll give you this. Just let me stay right here, okay? So we're going to have to do Hat and Seek in a few different kingdoms. It's not so cold if you huddle up. But anyway, that sh... What? Am I still missing one? I'm still missing one. What? Guess that kind of makes sense. I'll have to probably use the talk to. Ah, uh, actually, no, I don't. Just... I changed my mind. It's in the changing room area. Changing room? Uh, is this the changing room? I've always thought of this as the changing room because this is where uh, the last racer is when he's not ready to do his thing. Uh, but I guess this is technically a thing. Uh, and now, I can't remember if I need to break these boxes or climb up the boxes, which is probably unlikely. So let me just break these boxes. Actually, hang on. Okay, let's just break the block boxes. Which is very sunshine-like with the box breaking minigame. Break all of these just because I want them broken. It's fun to destroy them. And I get coins for this a little bit. Now, I think this is the last moon of this level, probably. Forgotten in the holding room. Okay, that's the holding room. Okay, that's all the moons in this level. Cool. So, let's head on over to the next kingdom. <laughs> Which looks like, yeah, it looks like we're going to the Mushroom Kingdom, apparently. There is quite a lot of things to do there. Including, uh, several, several, plenty of multi-moons. So we probably want to get those done. If I can... If I do them. Uh, but there's also... Um... There's also the last seed that I don't know where it is. So I need to find that still. I don't know why I haven't found it. And I don't know why I don't remember it either. Um... Hang on. Let's go climb this tree for these coins. It could be that the seed is actually higher up than I think it is. So let's go up here. Oh, get up there, please. Is the seed somewhere up here? That is my question. Um... These little cappy things only make things appear. So we can get up. No other purpose. As far as I know. You can see the whole mushroom... Uh, of the Mushroom Kingdom. Yes, we can. I don't think there's anything on this... The top of this pole. No, it's just coins. So where is this last seed? I've... I'm in the sky right now. Where is this last seed? Um, I don't remember, but I'll find it at some point. For now, let's unpeg these pegs in the moat. Come on. There's also some purple coins underneath the bridge. Very nice. And for unpegging all four of these pegs... We get a Super Mario 64 reference because if the 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 sound effect is lowering or the you did it right theme, which is cool. It's just Goombas. I still don't know where this last seed is, and it's 
concerning because it's sh it's a small thing. Uh, but now let's actually head back on top of the uh, castle again because there's something I overlooked up there that is going to be cool. <laughs> it's going to be cool because as a reference to Super Mario 64, there's a Yoshi egg up here, which we can break open, which gives us Yoshi. And Yoshi is a capture. We can shake to extend the tongue if we want to do that. Or just press Y to extend the, extend the tongue, which is usually the better option. Um, we can also hold B to flutter in the air as a pretty good jump. And Yoshi's tongue can pick up things, but also can... Um, can also... I can't even think of words right now. Can also latch, uh, attach onto, like, the walls, and then flip Yoshi up, which is very useful. Uh, you can't actually get high with this, I don't think. But it's still, it's still useful. Maybe I should go from over here, if I can. Oh, there's a pixel cat peach up here as well. Just gonna... Do that. I don't think that's how you're supposed to get that. But, I mean, I, I, it worked, so... Um... I don't know if there's anything else up here. So let's head down. And... For Yoshi, you also need to collect this fruit that's around. You can only collect it once for actually filling up Yoshi's stomach. Um, but once you get enough... Uh, you'll get a... a moon. Uh, there's also... multiple moons that we can get from collecting the fruit in this kingdom, so... If we can do that, that'd be good. I believe there's three moons you can get from feeding Yoshi. There's also two pipes that are clogged up that only... you can only get into if Yoshi eats the fruit blocking it. So there's the one in the moat, and if we go... Over this way. Also, if you shake your Joy-Con up and down, it kind of makes Yoshi's tongue stick to the ground, which pulls you forward faster. Which is useful. And here's the other, um, blocked pipe. Gobbling fruit with Yoshi. See if we can get some more of those. The fruit is fairly well spaced out all over the place. The lake seed. We could have got these already. Uh, the garden seed. And the field seed. So there must be one in the, the forest back here, right? That's, that's the only thing... This is the only place that would make sense for this last seed to be, but I don't... I don't know if it is. But anyway, let's grab Yoshi again. There's a lot of fruit over here to get, so we're going to have to figure that out. And I believe we can actually get on top of these trees with Yoshi. If we use Yoshi's tongue well enough. You don't have to actually use Yoshi's tongue to grab the fruit. You actually can just walk into it as well. Um, Bouncy mushroom, please. Oh, come on. Of those two. I don't know how I'm still up in this, these trees right now. But that's okay. Just gonna go up here. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. I was trying to grab the tree, but the tongue goes wherever it wants, apparently. Tries to lock onto things it can pick up rather than objects it can connect to. Grab two fruits at a time, wow. Pretty sure you can get multiple. Yoshi's second helping. I don't know how many you can get at a time, but there's only like two or three in the same split at the same spot usually. Um <laughs> Rest in peace, Goomba. Just gets absolutely destroyed. We've almost got all of this fruit, which we just need a little bit more. But 
Right, I need to actually find where the rest of the fruit is. Oh, there goes the sheep. Straight off the edge as well. Ah, uh, the rest of the fruit's probably down here somewhere. Also, I believe off this edge here is some coins that we can get. So that's good. Oh, here's the last seed. Um, we'll have to get that in a minute because I'm still doing Yoshi's thing. Where's the last fruit? Am I crazy about the fruit being as... widespread as I thought it was? Hang on. Okay, there we go. My sound cut out for a second there and I don't... I wasn't sure what happened, but it was just my headphones unplugging apparently. Somehow. Where's this fruit? Is it on top of a tower somewhere? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't know if that's all of it, but that's some of it. Go, Yoshi, go. Full speed. Um, actually, I don't know if I can get Yoshi up there. Because I have to go up this way, I guess. I'm pretty sure if you leave Yoshi for a while, Yoshi will respawn up here. Kind of... Like, Super Mario Sunshine. Oh my goodness, Yoshi's here already. <laughs> I guess. It's probably the eggs there, and then it just respawns Yoshi. So, let's get the ones up here. Hang on, get up there, please. Okay. And... Flutter. Tongue. And there we go, that's all of the fruit with Yoshi. And it's cool because the area... Ah, uh, Yoshi's all filled up, filled up. The area over there where Yoshi's home is, and telling, saying that he's not there right now, is cool because you actually get to see Yoshi. Look at him dance. <laughs> I know, it's, it's it's Mario dancing, kind of, technically? I don't know. Uh, well, let's go get that, um, that seed now and a few other things. There's also a few places around the world where you can get li uh, life hearts if you need them. Okay, let's take the seed into into the faraway lands. Just have to walk all the way there. I wish you could go faster while holding or carrying something. Okay, we've almost made it. Almost made it. There we go. Cool, that's gonna grow now, slowly. Ah, uh, so I guess now, instead of doing that, we should probably go to some more of these rooms. I can't remember which ones I've done already. I think it was just the one at the back. But anyway, let's rematch with this... Uh... Bug thing. I don't even know what it's called. Skip that cutscene since we've already seen it. And now, with this harder version of this boss fight, we have two of these things to fight. They both connect when they're... when you need to damage them. But they both run at you. Uh, separately. Which is about the same as before, just dodge the yellow lines, basically. As best as possible. Okay, they're connected. If you can shoot these pink uh, fireballs, that's really good, because those pink fireballs split into three yellow fireballs. Oh. Which you can also shoot to break. But if you can take them out fairly quickly, that's really good. Oh, come on. There we go, that's one hit. And that's basically just how this fight goes. It's a lot, it's got a lot of, um, those pink fireballs that you need to take out quickly. You just need to be careful not to touch the, uh, electric thing that it is turns into whenever it goes into a wall because that will actually hurt you that that thing okay let's go oh my goodness so many pink 
fireballs. Okay, take it out as much as possible. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of pink fireballs. And it also went into the wall again. I think I hit that one too late because it, those yellow ones came out. Okay, good. Where are you going? Oh my goodness. Please. There we go. And there we go. So there we go. Uh, and that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.